another episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Today, I'd like to share with you more on mix and match and how to make your outfit interesting. And also at the same time, is to give it a bit of flair to what we used to wear. Because in anything, we will just need to twist and give it a new look and then we will have freshness and newness. Like foremost, what you look at me right now, I'm wearing a navy suit, a very dark navy suit, which is a midnight blue. Midnight blue is that in the light, it will look really navy blue or in the dark or in the, or indoors, it will look like a very dark blue or even it might look black. So what I have is a, is a midnight blue suit and then it comes in a plain blue pinstripe and to wear to have that layer uh, to pick up the plain light blue stripe that's why I put on a plain color sky blue tie and then also to further match the tie I have the blue color pocket square to go with it but on the other hand, as you can see, and I'm actually wearing a pink shirt. An alternative will be to put on a pink handkerchief. And then it will be able to pick up the color of the shirt. That's an alternative. Because like this is, you can see the difference. This is a, uh, a silk handkerchief. You can check it out with a cotton handkerchief but make it a bit more interesting which is the with a pink and a white polka dots so it will really give you a sense of flair in what you wear and at the same time especially when you wear a different color pocket square versus with a tie different color but again it picked up the whole outfit is that it resembles and it shows confidence in the person and also it shows confidence in you and also at the same time is that a, uh, you can also check out what I wear for my shoe let's look at my whole outfit and we can discuss further let's check it out now let's have a closer look at my outfit today what I'm wearing right now is a suit from uh, Hugo Boss and the silhouette and the name of this suit is called Sean Connery as you know, Sean Connery, he was really at his peak in the time of the 1960s. That's why this suit, the silhouette, is cut more towards the 1960. As you can see, the lapel, it is a uh, smaller lapel. And then it is a very much more narrow fitted with a natural shoulder three button suit. And the trousers also, it's cut a, uh, on the slimmer side. And that's why I have to wear a smaller collar shirt to complement the smaller lapel and then also a slimmer tie to go with it and as you can see when you look at my uh, footwear i'm actually wearing a pair of a uh, oxford lace up in a toe cap and in a natural leather color or they call it the color natto so this is really a very interesting mix and match especially you have to be daring when you wear it for the daytime especially if on more a uh, smart informal event you wear it you will look really elegant because the natto color of the uh, footwear will really pick up the dark suit especially in a spring and summer day now there is another question coming forward should you wear a natto color pair of uh, footwear what is the color of the belt because the traditionally is that Black shoes, black belt. Brown shoes, brown belt. Do you tell me that uh, you put on a natto color belt for, to match this pair of shoes? Actually, you can put on a natto color belt. But for me, just to be simple and nice, I didn't put on a, a natto color belt, but instead, I put on a suspender, which is a, uh, the leather, also which is a, uh, in natto color to pick back up the pair of a... Uh, natto color shoe and you can check it out this outfit is really a uh, smart and 
cool because you look at it, I'm very relaxed and comfortable. And then it comes with a suspender. So again, another thing is that between belt and suspender, please go for the suspender or you call it the braces because men always look very neat, elegant with the suspender. However, your girlfriend or your wife, when they see any gentleman in a suspender, to them it looks not neat and is not sharp, but you are elegant and at the same time you are sexy. So to the next episode of our Ken Fashion Journey, do press the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner and I look forward to see you in the next episode. Bye!